The letter of resignation has been submitted by Senator Tony Mendoza and has been accepted. Just minutes after Senate President Kevin DeLeon made his announcement today, Capitol staffers were removing Tony Mendoza's picture from the Senate hallway. So what made him ultimately decide to resign? I think he felt a lot of pressure. Uh, I think he felt as though you know, he didn't want to take the chance of having a vote on the floor. Key Democrats, including De Leon, were pushing for Mendoza's expulsion after a Senate rules investigation found it was more likely than not Mendoza engaged in flirtatious and sexually suggestive behavior with six women, including staffers and interns. I didn't believe it was expulsion worthy, but, but uh, suspending him till the end of the session without pay was sort of the remedy that I felt most comfortable with. Facing certain discipline, Mendoza resigned in this fiery letter today, stating Kevin De Leon will not rest until he has my head on a platter. The posturing is part of the public feud between Tony Mendoza and his former housemate Kevin De Leon, according to KCRA 3 political analyst Kevin Riggs. This is all about political punishment, uh, and the whole legal aspect of this is going to be something entirely different. And that's why I think Senator Mendoza and his lawyer are already laying the groundwork for some sort of a legal challenge. Mendoza filed this lawsuit against the legislature last week, claiming his due process rights have been denied.